Now we're going to start over with the fifth one because it's very important. Remember Euclid, about 300 BC, wrote a book called Euclid's Elements, and in it he described what we now call Euclidean geometry. Euclidean geometry, which is what we're going to be studying this year. Okay? First four postulates we just stated. Now we're going to work on this fifth. Why? Because this fifth is the one that everybody started challenging right from the beginning. However, no serious challenges were mounted until the 19th century. Believe that 18, 1900 years passed before there was a serious challenge. The fifth one is called the parallel postulate. You will see this term again, and you need to be able to relate it to the fifth postulate is the parallel postulate. Okay, the parallel postulate, I'm going to draw a picture and then we're going to describe it. The parallel postulate says that if I have two lines and I intersect them with another line such that the line that intersects them creates right angles with both of those lines, then those two lines are parallel or never meet. Okay? Now that's a rewording of the parallel postulate. In all actuality, what Euclid said was this. If I have two lines that are like that, and I intersect them with another line such that the interior angles on one side of the line, let's take this angle, one, and let's say this angle two, if those two angles added together are less than two right angles, then the two lines that this other line intersects somewhere on this same side, somewhere, they will intersect. Okay? They will meet and they will intersect. State it one more time. If two lines are intersected by a third line in such a way that on one side of where the third line intersects on the interior angles, those two angles added together are less than two right angles added together, then those two lines will intersect on that line. Now we can extend that by simply saying if this angle, angle one and angle two are right angles, then those two lines will never intersect. Okay? You can further say that if those two angles, let's call them three and four, when I add them together, if they're larger than two right angles, then they will never meet. Okay? The way we illustrate it is like this. Okay? draws it like this. Now, several people started looking at that saying, well, we can think of examples where that's not true. And they would state them, so forth and so on, but there was no serious challenge until the 19th century. 